So let's go ahead and get into the first clue, um, the ones I like to talk about, which are the L1s and L2s. Price action is based, this is obviously going to be uh, a little training on checking your levels and stacking your clues, but you're going to get, um, we're going to talk about all of these clues in a, in a little bit of detail. So uh, we're going to expand your knowledge overall of, of the grids and the charts. All right, so the first clue I like to talk about are the L1s and L2s, all right, which are also the boxes on the grids. Now, the boxes are good entry points. They're solid clues if they are following a fresh high or fresh low. All right, and what I want to do is just show you a little bit of these charts here. Uh, you might need to just use your uh, your scroll bar on your projection screen. Okay, no worries, man. No worries, as long as we can all see. Yeah. All right. So as long as we're making higher highs and higher lows, these L1 becomes a very strong entry point. I think you'd agree. In fact, here's a higher high. There's a bounce. Higher high, bounce, higher high, bounce. So out of one, two, three, four, five higher highs. We still get a bounce after this higher high, but look, this does not make a higher high, and then we get the drop below. Now check this out. See this? We actually have a lower low now, and because of that, the L1 becomes resistance. So support becomes resistance, a common um, behavior in trading and technical analysis. Support becoming resistance, resistance becoming support. Well, here's dynamic levels of support be turning into dynamic levels of resistance. So this is the one minute chart, this is the one minute box. You can see price is always bouncing off this box. That's why I like to say that it's kind of like a paddle ball. And um, the box is the paddle, the price is the ball, and there's an imaginary rubber band between. So there's always, the the paddle is always hitting the ball and the ball's flying until it gets too far away then the rubber band gets tight and it pulls back and this action continues on until it runs out of gas then it goes the other way starts paddling the ball the other way alright so that's the first example of higher highs and then this is also a good example of white zones but we'll talk about what that when the time is due so as long as the price is making higher highs you can see that this is a very high probability bounce point this line Alright, so uh, I'm going to move on to the next uh, chart. 